and welcome <laughs> to today's vlog. Today's vlog. I oh, maybe gone misty, gone inside, going on a day in the life of me. Oh, mate, this is my daily routine. Just waiting for the kettle to finish. <laughs> I'm on croaky because it's early morning. Oh, mate, so I'm just waiting. Right, so here is how I start my day. I get up, out of that bed, and I get on that laptop, which I'll show you what I'm doing with that in a second. So I push that on, and I fill the kettle up. <laughs> I have one of these, a three-in-one, a creamer. There's my cup. <laughs> so my creamer goes in the cup. Come on, I know it's early. Right. So I hope you like the shit shirt. This shit shirt. <laughs> if you can't read it, it's because it's on the piss, on the piss in <laughs> Jakarta. Okay, and this shirt, hang on. I now need some instant daily coffee. Get that in there. And a bit of Dutch milk, which is almost like real milk. Very similar. It's a proper milk. Just a bit creamy, it's that like full fat. Full fat, fresh milk, but a little bit creamier. Mobile phone back on charge because I will hopefully be flying the drone at some stage today as I go off to Patong. As I've got a vlog, a video I want to be making there, so... <clears throat> so, my new laptop. Right, let me tell you why I'm wearing this shit shirt. Free giveaway. Uh, when I bought this new laptop, this thing, <laughs> whatever it is, whatever it's called, it does the job. I was given this free hat. <laughs> Came with it free of charge. So... Here in my little seat. Um, it was, we had a lot of rain, a storm last night, early hours this morning. So I'm just waiting for the sun to break out. But, oh man, I'm in the chair. I'm in my chair. So, my first free giveaway is going to be this t shirt and this hat. <laughs> it's a rather nice hat, by the way. It's mint, it's white. It's really cool. But, um,. And I'll sign that to the winner. Well, what, what it is, all my free free giveaway stuff, competitions, they're free to enter. You just need to be a Patreon. Uh, that's it. Everybody in my Patreon, every month, I'll be putting all your names into a hat. This hat for the first draw. And whatever name I draw, I will be sending you, at my own expense, this lovely hat and this wonderful T-shirt which very unique items but you need to be a patreon that's where all my free giveaway competition stuff will be from and a patreon's really easy it's sean king youtube s-e-a-n-k-i-n-g y-o-u-t-u-b-e and i'll put a link in the description um so you can find out and there's really good stuff on my Patreon. It's not just like uh, a money collecting exercise, there's added value there. I will be making vlogs particularly just for my Patreon account as, as I, uh, uh, as it will give me another dimension and all the, 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 the drone footage I make will be on the Patreon's account. All the, when I use my big camera and I make my full frame films, short films, uh, they're all going to be on my uh, Patreon account, as is 
old stock videos that I made. This one in particular right now is me. I'm now putting that on Patreon this morning. That's me riding my Lambretta around London on the last day of the Olympic Games when that was in London. I can't remember when that was, 2007 or 8, I think, or 11 or 12. 2012 rings a bell. Anyway, good morning. That's my third one. I usually have two, but I had to make this video, so I had to make another cup of coffee just for this vlog. Oh man, that's good. That in the morning. Oh man. <laughs> oh, that does exactly the same as what a Leo does a little bit later. So my loadout for the day. Let's have a look at my loadout. My loadout is on the bed. I've had a little bit of time to get my loadout ready for today. And this is it. This is my today's loadout, look. So I can pick to see what I'm going to be doing. I've done the special with the, uh, with the giveaway hat. But here is my camera gear, for which I will be using uh, in Patong today. That's my voice recorder, Tascam Digital Recorder. So I can get some real high quality sounds. That's my drone. That's my GoPro 8. My little uh, stick and me. Um, I don't know if you've seen him before. The Cheshire Cat. Oh, that's me. That's my little bag to put my goodies in. That is my hat selection of what I will be selecting from today. That is the must-have hat. And that is the must-have international licenses. And I do carry my passport with me just in case. And I do carry a mask just in case I carry me good luck beads I carry a pair of glasses for when I'm flying my drone and also have oh man a harmonica which I'll probably annoy you with at some stage a little bit later I also have my flip phone look a proper phone flip phone how cool is that? The other phone is charging up on the battery right now to fly my drone. So I have my passport and my licenses. I have my pens. I have my Joker boat, little black book. I have my new wallet. I have an extra hairband. I have some sun cream, a selection of sunglasses for wardrobe and a selection of hats all for the wardrobe and all my t-shirts and vests and they're all laid out nice and flat so they don't get any creases in them. So you don't all call me a, uh, whatever you like to call me. So here, that's literally me for morning. And then I'm gonna down that coffee, and then I'll go out for my little walk on the beach. And it's now brightened up, so that awaits. So after me coffee, <laughs> oh, I love it. I come out to the beach. And there's, I can see there's been a high tide with a the storm. There's always rubbish when it comes up on the sh shoreline being washed up on this beach every day. And it looks like we're gonna have a bit of a gray, rainy day today. Not quite like the sunshine we've had the last, but man, two or three weeks, we've only had a little rain. So my routine every single day when I am in Phuket, I come out onto the beach there and do my walk from where I come out from the pond. I walk all the way right up to the end there in the soft sand right up the top here rather than in the easy walking sand I like to get my body <laughs> my muscles and everything working twisting getting warmed up loosening up it takes me quite a bit of time to really get loosened up and warmed up with the morning so that's why i walk up to the end of the beach just nice calmly in the soft sand the sea's looking a bit rough today so that's going to make my final chapter of my walk a little bit harder than normal <laughs> and now i'm not looking forward to it i'm not the only person who walks the beach every morning 
a few dog walkers, there's a few reg regulars that we all say hello to. And every day, these two ladies, Swadi Cap, good morning, good, 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 good. They are up on the beach every morning at about six o'clock, Swadi Cap. And they start <laughs> up that end. And what they do, as you can see, the beach here is all clean. All the little piles and bags have been collected. And they will make their way <laughs> all the way down to the other end of the beach. And they could possibly still be there six, seven o'clock in the evening tonight. And there's also another group of two ladies and a guy who's working every single day to keep this beach clean just for me which is really good <laughs> but I'm already building a little bit of a sweat up but I haven't got much further to go before I then walk back the full length of this beach okay so I make it to this end of the beach where the Novotel is and I'll just show you if, uh, if it's unoccupied right you can get up to that room just along there. That's a really good place on that room to come and have a smoke of an evening. <laughs> it is, if no one's occupying it. Well, there's stairs you can get up there and walk along, but I'd just, it's a cool place to go and sit with a bottle of beer, <laughs> wine, <laughs> early evening, a couple of joints, just the view, which, okay. Rain, you can see the rainstorm coming in across the centre. That'll be here in about an hour. And as I look across the grey clouds <laughs> into that mountain, which is not good because that's the one I have to go through to get to Batong. And 98% um, sure it'll be raining. But all this, this could change within the hour. That rain may come through and then blow out and become a sunny day because the sun rises this way look so that's where the sun is in the cloud so sometimes early morning is the only time you're actually going to catch a little bit of sun before that cloud coming <laughs> as i cross the estuary to the nova town <laughs> i'll just show you this look because it ain't got any better it hasn't the built, look, this, this is where the water comes in and out and it's also that sewage pipeline at the Nova Tell right there. <laughs> and they've done their best. I made a load of fish in there to bolster it, but it is what it is. That's where all, all, the, all this wood is what has all been collected uh, from, the, from the shoreline when we've had the uh, the high seas and look it looks quite oh man sea look translucent iridescent the sea looks at the moment with regards to that light oh man coming through which definitely looks like there's a thunderstorm of a sort on its way <laughs> well that's not my concern my concern oh man it's getting me walk done there's another cleaner just up at this part of the beach as well so now just in front of me clearing the way so i get up again in the soft sand i'll now walk right to the very end Whew. hopefully before it starts to piss down <laughs> i've almost made it to the end of the beach before the rain has just started I look at that man you can see the rain over millionaires row coming in and coming right across the beach with some sun coming through Camelot beach it is awesome it's wonderful when it's in the sun evening when you can watch the sunset and it's even more awesome when it's oh man when the elements show themselves on the beach and you can really Oh man, ah, it's inspiring, aspirating, even. Oh man, that's kind of, <clears throat> it seems funny that I didn't really want to do this in the wet because when I get to the end of the beach, 
what I do, I turn around because now I'm kind of warmed up and I get in the sea and hey, up to me knees on me waist <laughs> in the thick sand oh. and I'll do a full length of me in the sea <laughs> It's awesome, and this is how I look at life. Because <laughs> this, oh, in the wet, I want perfect timing with the waves coming in. Because this is life. As you look forward, hey, <laughs> you people say there's two sides to a coin. Well, there isn't. There's three. Aha! <laughs> there's that coin side what you don't know <laughs> there's that side in the safe sand of what you do know and right in the middle is the edge hey <laughs> and that is where i live my life right on the edge oh man this is cool feel the crash the roar and the energy of that sea and in the wet that was awesome Woo -wee! Whoa. now when I say I'm on the edge you have to be careful because on this edge, in the shallows, are where the rip tides occur. And I'll keep my eye firmly fixed on it. Ah. Right then, where's that rocky music? <laughs> I can't do both. So, and this, I'm not worried about my fitness or my weight. They're pretty good. What I concentrate on is my strength. The power and the energy. Oh, okay, now and talking a good guy. This is hard work. Great time to be surfing. Whoa. Right, I'm about halfway. Awesome. The force of nature. And look, I've done my run, come back, I've recovered so I can speak. But look, the rain is pushing through, clear skies are coming. So the time I now gone back and had a shower, wow, I'm ready to go and blow to get on with the day's job. Oh, how cool. Right. Let's get on with today's vlog. So, after my morning's walk and a little freshen up, I then enter wardrobe of where I have been issued my wardrobe selection for the day. And I've made my way to, well, the junction right here. Here is where I am. This is Qatar Road. This is a junction right here where you'll turn left where this road is closed for construction where I'm actually now going to make a vlog on this road if you go left that will take you onto the main road where you'll turn right to Rawai and if you turn right at this junction that will take you up to Qatar Noi, Qatar Karen Viewpoint and Rawai 
so that is where I am I parked the horse a little way up the road as I'm now gonna do I'm now gonna make a vlog uh, about this road Opportunity Knox Road as there are so many little businesses everything uh, on this street and uh, uh, where it is under construction the drainage has been remade and the pavement on both sides has been remade as well so I've come here to make a little vlog on this street Prosperity Street because it is where I'm looking uh, to rent a house or a condo because I'll probably get it really really cheap and here at Qatar uh, it's a great location because li literally you go 100 meters there turn left and you're right on to Qatar Beach where um, the surf is really good so that's that's just a little bit more about where I am right now I'm now going to make this vlog and then um, after that I'll pick this back up again I'll pick this vlog back up to where I'm off to next Ooh. well after my little vlog that I just made in Qatar Prosperity Street that came out quite well I found loads of really good places to rent buy or whatever oh man so after making that vlog I've now made my way back to Patong unfortunately I did hang about in Qatar because I saw it was raining here and as I've arrived it's, it's just a little bit of misty rain so I won't I've got my drone and all my camera gear with me because I wanted to get some really good footage of Patong so I could make a little promo video but it's all a bit grey not a lot of people and not a lot of energy but this is a little place where I've just stopped right here the guy cleaning out the scrap and it's right at the end of Patong Beach this is uh, Kalim I believe where I am uh, right opposite the Novotel which is in there you'll probably get an expensive room but yeah just at the roundabout here look where you go there where I now go up there to Kamala where I need to stop <laughs> and see a man about a dog on the way home this is a day in life it's my normal routine so I've taken all these things in now here used to be quite good I'd actually really like to see I think that's what they're now doing if they cleared all this crap there's a truck guy there taking all this rubbish I think they're now moving all this out to clear this up because this is make a wicked little spot right for a little oh man a couple of coffee shops all set up just in here man fucking awesome because here you have a wonderful little beach and it needs cleaning big time it does it take fuck all mate it would take me 10 minutes to clear this area that's been neglected but you can imagine uh, you just looking at this the speck the scope from all the back there the rocks all this area man it's just ah, some people are too rich aren't they <laughs> they must be just take it for granted you know damn well how oh what were the emphasis that we would put in even these log like a great big log here i mean we'd move it we'd move all this natural wood that's worth a fortune back in our domains leave all the lovely sandstone there and clean it out I mean that that well, I mean it's not gonna do the sea any good just leaving it there to rot you can bring it all up and make wonderful features all along I make it make it absolutely beautiful you, you, you know what a wonderful area which will probably just go a fucking waste <laughs> who knows but it is, it's just, that is just awesome. So on a really hot sunny day, uh, I'd really like to be flying my drone around here because uh, it's a really cool spot. Just needs a massive, massive clean up. Right, I've just got one more place to stop before I get back to Camelot. As the day is getting on, you know. It's, it's, oh, it's well gone beer first day, I can tell you. I just didn't want to get wet. So. Uh, on the way back to Camelot, I need to see a man about a dog. So on the road, that way to Camelot, and that way to Patong, you will find lots of weed bars, reggae bars, but you will not find one as good as this guy. 
the man I see about the dog, he's got the best dog on the island. And this is where he is. He'll rent you a Jeep. He'll rent you a moped. <laughs> he will sell you petrol. I believe he has mushrooms. <laughs> right. It's a cool place. And here, look, the old jungle. Down there. Oh man, it's a nice cool area, a serving hatch, a bit of taxidermy. <laughs> oh, so a real cool area, pool table, outside and look, <laughs> look at his selection. And I tell you, like I say, I've been all over the island when it comes down to price, cost and THC, this guy, well, he does the best on the island. Now I've been buying, aha, uh -huh, what is it? Um, I mean, and it rained, your cheapest is 400, up to about 800 a gram. On it. Your 400, he's got 400, 500, 600, 650, 650. And like I say, they're all nice. Buying it, man. Good buds. And this one at 500. And I've been getting a couple of grams of the good stuff and I also buy the block because he, he also has the block as well from 100, 200, 500. <laughs> I mean that there, there look that's that's about an ounce for a thousand baht. That's over an ounce in there um, and so that's where I come every day and and what was that one? Oh 450? 450 on the gorilla and it's good big solid buds so i'm now going to get a couple of grams and then i'm back to camilla to have happy ending <laughs> oh man i fell over i'm always falling over so the end scene guys cheers oh man a wicked bit of wood cheers for watching today's vlog basically what I do generally every single day and this also after I've made a vlog I come back to the pond and I drink my Leo's the third one there and, and speak to my friends so cheers thanks for watching the vlog till the very end but just to recap for everybody becoming a patron account member by the end of the month my first prize draw is for this cap which I can write on it whatever you want and for my t-shirt on the piss in Jakarta these two items are my first free prize giveaway and the only way you can enter is by being one of my patrons which is Sean King YouTube there will be a link in the description S-E-A-N-K-I-N-G YouTube and a lot of big thanks to all my patrons uh, so far and any yeah so everybody every patron coming on by the end of this month the 30th or the 31st of September whatever it is I don't really know you will have your name entered into this hat and I will draw it out live <laughs> on YouTube and I will then contact you via email so I can get your address and I'll send it to you free of charge. So, cheers again and thanks for watching. And until next time, au revoir.